Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome back to my channel everyone. The end of March is approaching so April is coming. I can't wait for April and start planting outside. And guys, if you are not subscribed on my other channel, Princess May's Corner, please do subscribe. Once I reach 1,000 subscribers on that channel, I'm also going to do the giveaway. Um, that channel is just my um, kind of like uh, everyday vlog kind of thing. I haven't posted uh, anything there for the last, I don't know, um, almost a year. <laughs> it's been a long time. But I'm going to start again and I'm going to um, use that channel for my planting and harvesting. So, I'm going to start uh, doing vlogs on that channel very soon. So, today we are going to cook some shrimps. So, we're going to cook ginataang hipon for today. And we're going to load it, pack it with vegetables. Vegetables is always good to eat, guys. Especially for those of you who are close to your 50s. Well, even if you are not in your 50s, vegetables is always good for any kind or, or you know, different ages. So, I'm going to show you guys step by step on how I'm going to cook my ginataang hipon. For those of you teenagers on my channel, to check if your oil is ready to use, just dunk your wooden spoon or if you're using chopsticks. And if you see bubbling at the tip, at the tip of your spoon or chopstick, that means the oil is ready. But this one here, it's not yet ready. So let's wait for a little bit. Okay, friends, our oil is ready, as you guys see. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to saute the ingredients. This is a very plain and simple dish, guys. So you guys will love this. So we're going to wait for the garlic to turn into a golden color. All right. Next, the red onions. Yeah, I'm gonna divide the onions into two because I have another dish that I'm going to cook later on. Okay, so next, we're going to add our tomatoes. I use Roma tomatoes on this dish. So we're just going to let this one simmer for two minutes to give time to extract their natural flavors. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Okay friends, after five minutes, I, I, I said two minutes a while ago, but um, I waited a little bit more for the tomatoes to soften. Okay, next, shrimps. Look at my shrimps, guys. This is one kilo of shrimps. It looks small on the video, but they are huge. Look at that. Next. It smells so good. Now we're going to season the shrimp, okay? Fresh black pepper. Fresh grind black pepper. There we go. Mm-hmm. Half a teaspoon of the garlic powder. I know we already used garlic a while ago, but I just want the extra mmm. 
you guys know what I mean. And then, one tablespoon of the Nor chicken broth mix. Just one tablespoon. If you guys are not subscribed on this channel yet, please subscribe. You know guys, my one of my dream is to get that silver play button. Okay, next. We're going to add our calabaza. Squash. Ooh, look at those squash. Beautiful. And our eggplants. I use two long Japanese eggplant. Beautiful. I'm just happy, guys, because I'm off for two nights. So, we mix. All right. Okay guys, and we're going to add a cup of water. And we're going to let this vegetable simmer for probably 5 to 10 minutes. And I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, let's cover them. And we wait. Okay friends, after 10 minutes. There. Bango. There. Okay, since they are half cooked now, we're going to add our baby bok choy. Ooh, this is very good. Guys, one of the best the one of the best vegetables that you guys can eat is baby bok choy. It's packed with vitamins and nutrients and all those shibans. So mix. And then we're going to add our coconut milk. Hmm. The best. I'm trying to put the baby bok choy underneath where the sauce is. There. Okay, and now we're going to add our coconut milk. Isn't that gorgeous, huh? Mix, mix, mix. And that's it, guys. I'll show you guys the finished product. this is our finished product if you guys like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also if you are not subscribed on this channel yet please don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching have a blessed day everyone and may the good lord bless us all thank you guys again for watching and see you guys on my next video bye for now